first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number one on the topic discount so now we are going to learn introduction about this topic so first what you guys have to do is you need to learn some of the basics of profit and loss so first learn profit and loss and then try to learn the topic discount this lesson so if you didn't learn the topic profit and loss it is okay you can able to understand the topic discount but if you need to understand completely first you need to learn profit and loss and then watch the discount video right in my youtube channel itself you can able to see profit and loss two lessons i have solved a basic question so try to watch the profit and loss initially and then try to watch this lesson number one on the topic discount you know if it is a profit and loss question there are two important things one is the cost price right so cost price which we usually write it as cp and the second is the selling price so here in this lesson we are going to learn about discount so remember that if it is a profit right if we need to calculate the profit what we usually do profit will be calculated as cost price minus selling price resultant will be the profit but in the term of discount you always target the marked price understood mp is called as marked price so if we are going to solve a question that is based on a discount never care about the cost price never care about the cost price friends understood always the discount will be calculated on the marked price and the selling price for example i can write the formula so discount just see discount is equal to <coughs> discount is equal to marked price minus of selling price understood so this is the formula for discount in order to find discount percentage right d percentage is called as a discount percentage if you need to find only the discount value so marked price minus selling price if you need to find the discount percentage then marked price minus selling price divided by marked price into 100 so got it this is the formula for a discount percentage understood this or not right so from this formula we can derive two to three formulas but remember that these are the two formulas are most important in the topic discount so friends remember that while reading a question if you find the word discount then definitely never never care about the cost price you should not care about the cost price if you are going to solve a question that is based on a discount you should never care about cost price you should take only the marked price and the selling price and the second important thing is most of the students will have a confusion that what is called as cost price and what is called as marked price because without knowing the difference between a cost price and a marked price you can't able to solve a question so what i can do is uh, i can teach you with one example so that you can easily able to understand it think that i am buying a land right i am buying a land initially in 2000 in the year of 2000 i bought a land for 25000 rupees just listen carefully i bought a land for 25000 rupees in which year 2000 the year of 2000 i bought a land for 25000 rupees now the same land right same land in the year 2020 now i am just going to sell a land at the price of 1 lakh friends listen carefully i bought the land for 25000 but i am planning to sell not i am not sold that land i am planning to sell that land for 1 lakh now i sold the land to my friend at 2020 as 90000 just listen here this is the cost price of the land i have bought the land at 25000 rupees that is the cost price yes understood this is the cost price of the land so after this year after some years i have fixed the land price as 1 lakh this is called as marked price and after some year i have sold the land for 90000 which is called as discount by discount of how much discount of 10000 rupees i have sold the land for 90000 so this 90000 is called as a selling price understood so friends just listen that carefully so only if you are able to understand this you can able to solve a basic question or else you can't right so first initially i bought a land for 25000 
and then after some year i fixed the price of the land for 1 lakh then i have sold the land for 90000 so while i am getting the land for 25000 it is called as cost price after some years i fixed some price for the land which is 1 lakh that is called as marked price right so after that some amount i have just discounted for him and then i gave the land for 90000 so this is called as discount value 10000 just see here discount is always calculated on the marked price not on the cost price that's what i'm repeatedly saying so discount will always be calculated on the marked price and then i sold the land for 90000 so 90000 rupees will be the selling price understood so this is the major difference between cost price marked price and selling price so never forget this right yeah if you just take a note of all these points so that while going for the exams you can just revise it one time and you can easily solve the question the exams right so there is another two more formula that we need to buy at but listen here those two formulas are derived only from this formula right you don't want to buy at those formulas if you learn only this formula then easily automatically you can buy out those formulas too and those formulas are derived only from this i can show you right just listen here discount we can multiply mp this side so discount into marked price is equals to 100 into marked price right so 100 into marked price minus of 100 into selling price so 100 into selling price so bring the selling price towards left hand side so 100 into selling price is equals to 100 into marked price minus of bring the left hand side towards right hand side so d into marked price so here you can see first term marked price second term marked price so we can take marked price outside so this can be written as 100 minus d so divided by 100 is equals to selling price got it so finally we can say that selling price formula is marked price into 100 minus d divided by 100 in case if you need to find what is marked price then 100 into selling price divided by 100 minus d what is just we have cross multiplied it if you want you can buy out the formula or else while solving a question i will teach you some shortcuts by using that shortcuts without learning this formula you can able to solve a question that's it right so it's a very small introduction video about the topic discount so only thing is what you need to remember in the mind is first discount will always be calculated for the marked price never care about the cost price right first thing you need to remember and second thing is you should know what is the difference between a cost price selling price and a marked price this is point number two and the point number three is the formula right discount percentage is equal to marked price minus selling price divided by marked price into 100 and the third important thing is you need to learn another two formulas and those formulas are derived only from this and it is not required to buy added in case if you want you can buy at this or else while solving the question there is a shortcut and by using the shortcut without learning this formula you can solve the question right so that's it about the lesson number one introduction topic so thank you so much for watching this video it's a small video but don't forget to watch the remaining lesson number two lesson number three and so on based on this topic so thank you so much for watching it bye